Hi, today I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the fleet management system Fleetio. Um, I'm going to concentrate on the contacts and vehicles uh, so you can see how to get the information you possibly need. Okay, when you have the information like the internet address, uh, the user ID and password, which I'll send in a separate email, you put the web address in and then you'll get this screen up. You then go to login. Here we go. Right, this will then ask for, usually will ask for a <coughs> user ID and password, um, but I've bypassed this step for security reasons. Um, this is called the dashboard and it gives you a brief overview of all the vehicles in the fleet management system. Uh, all the issues that are open, these could be sat nav cover missing, uh, blood spillage kit missing, things like that, or blue lights not working. Uh, and then we have the service reminders. Um, just because uh, you have these in red doesn't mean nothing's been done about it. It means that I haven't updated the database with uh, the corrective action. Okay, we then have um, the fuel costs. As you can see, it gives you the cost per month. What I tend to do is create the entries on a monthly basis. So we're in September now. I won't do September's until October. And these are the service costs. As soon as we get an invoice from whomever, I'll add it into the database and it'll give us the costs. And it also gives us the current mileage of all the bikes. This information is only as up to date as when I enter it and that's usually pretty quick. Um, when I get the handover forms all the information is added into it. Okay if you go over on the left hand side there is all the functions on the fleet management system. Um, if you go up to this box here and click on it it will get rid of the description but if you hover over the icons you can actually see what each icon does. So let's quickly go over the contacts. Um, as you can see, they're in alphabetical order, surname alphabetical order, uh, and we have 137. There are 25 contacts on each page. Um, if you want to, you can actually just scroll through by hitting the forward key to whomever you want, or you can use the filters and enter a name. In this case, I'll just put my name in and click search. As you can see, there are two entries with the name Michael in them. So if I just click on myself, it gives you all the information that you need. Telephone contact numbers, addresses. Um, so it's easy to contact. You can also use this facility on a mobile um, which means it's easier to get hold of if you're out in the field. Okay, uh, next we'll look at vehicles. If you want to know the history of the vehicle you're using, um, just go to vehicles, it'll give you this panel. You'll have the vehicle name. The MOT, by the way, stands for motorbike, not MOT certificate. Uh, the mileage, the status, whether it's maintenance, spare, or it's a duty bike, and the, whoever's been assigned to that bike. Um, say you're getting the North Duty bike at this stage. Just click on the bike, gives you all the details and it gives you a list of information that you can look at. For example, if you want to look at the excitement history, um, it gives you the rider, when they had the bike and the mileage they completed. Uh, you can look at the odometer history, this gives you a list of everything that happened including work orders which is service orders uh, and also should do fuel. There we go, there's a fuel entry down there. Um, at this stage I really would like to uh, reiterate that we need correct fuel readings when you buy petrol using the uh, fuel card. I use the statistics from the fuel card to enter into the fleet management system so that we can get um, running costs. So it is imperative that all the fuel mileages are complete and accurate. Okay, um, 
and then also can give you status changes what the bike's been from when it was first started on the database to what it is now this one's um, not quite a good uh, example so if we look at say an older bike say bike 5 if you look at the status changes that's the, the top is the first entry and the bottom is what it is it's now a spare okay that's a brief introduction um, obviously if there's any questions feel free to email me call me if there's any more videos that you'd like with the various functions of the database i'd be quite happy to do that so um, thanks very much for taking the time to look at this video bye